In today's world, smartphones are an integral part of our everyday lives, revolutionizing how we communicate, access information, and stay connected. In recent years, however, smartphone usage has increased exponentially, so researchers have begun looking into how smartphone use is actually affecting our overall attention and memory, something we have very little of these days. Before we explore how smartphone use can affect memory and attention, better your brain by hitting that subscribe button so we can continue to help you mine the gold in mind. The average person checks their phone 58 times each day and spends about three hours or so per day on it. One in five smartphone users, however, spends upwards of 4.5 to perhaps even seven hours on average on their phones every single day. And what's interesting is that a lot of this smartphone usage isn't for any productive reason either. In fact, according to some research, the main reason people use social media apps is boredom. One obvious way that smartphone is affecting memory is through digital distraction. We're constantly distracted by notifications, alerts, social media, and an endless choice of content. While convenient, this is definitely preventing us from being able to concentrate and focus. In fact, with all of these distractive apps and messages to check, our attention span has been recorded to be the equivalent to that of a goldfish. And as a generation programmed to multitask through different applications, we are essentially training ourselves to decrease our cognitive performance and a major memory function, something that multitasking does. As our attention is divided between multiple tasks, our brains struggle to switch between them, resulting in decreased efficiency and accuracy. This can result in reduced ability to encode new information into memory effectively, leading to decreased memory performance over time. As mentioned earlier, smartphones are also affecting our memory. Using smartphones constantly requires our brains to process many tasks and information simultaneously. Our brains, while advanced as they may seem, are still primitive in nature and we're not built to deal with such endless stream of information 24-7. As such, this is resulting in increased cognitive load. Our working memory, which holds and manipulates information in the short term, can become overloaded, resulting in an impaired memory function and reduced cognitive performance. Think of our brain as a sort of filled battery at the start of each day. We have a limited amount of energy that we can expend on certain things. We only have so much energy in our brains can run on, and with each form of information that comes our way, whether big or small or conscious or not, we are depleting that battery faster throughout the day by letting unnecessary things take up space. Smartphones are also affecting our sleep. Using a smartphone before bedtime, particularly before we sleep, something a majority of people are doing these days, can also impact memory heavily. Blue light from screens interfere with the production of melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep. This results in poorer sleep and the lower quality of sleep we have, the worse it is for memory consolidation. A lack of quality sleep can disrupt this process, resulting in memory deficits. Moreover, with the smartphone allowing instant access to information at the tip of our fingertips, we are prone to the phenomenon known as digital amnesia, also known as the Google effect. We talk about this topic solely in another video, which you can click at the right corner above. Smartphones make it easy to store and retrieve information like contact numbers, directions, and reminders. So we inevitably rely less on our brain to encode or retain that information in our internal memory. This reliance on an external device to consolidate information for us can lead to reduced memory performance in the long term. Despite smartphones becoming an integral part of our lives, it is important to practice healthy smartphone habits to mitigate their potential impact on memory and attention. Some of the following steps are ways in which we can practice a healthy relationship with our smartphone. For one, we can set boundaries. With an addictive behavior, it is important to establish specific time limits of usage. This is the same with smartphones, particularly during tasks that require concentration or memory encoding. Avoid the temptation to constantly check notifications or engage in excessive multitasking. Number two, we can minimize distractions. Turn off unnecessary notifications or alerts to minimize the distractions or temptations that will interrupt our focus. Design your environment in a way that will prevent any potential distraction from getting in the way. Number three, practice mindfulness. Being aware of your smartphone usage is important, but practicing mindful meditation is also an added benefit for your brain. Whether it's deep breathing or simply staying off the screen for long periods of time, all of these can help enter the right space and improve focus and concentration. Also try to prioritize sleep. Sleep is crucial for your brain. We talked about this earlier. Prioritize good quality sleep by establishing a set bedtime routine and keep your phone out of reach from your bed. Avoid using smartphones at least one hour before bedtime to allow your brain to wind down. 
as we mentioned many times in this video, limit multitasking. As much as we might think this is being productive, it actually isn't. Avoid excessive multitasking while using smartphones, as a countless studies show that this is not good for you, despite us feeling like it were being productive and busy. Focus on one task at a time to help improve concentration and memory. Finally, take breaks and replace bad habits. Give yourself regular breaks from smartphone usage to allow your brain to rest and recharge. Replace that time you check your phone with other activities, whether it be exercise, reading, learning a new skill, etc. Considering how much time we spend on our phones, it's important to recognize how they affect our attention and memory. Digital distractions, cognitive load, inadequate sleep, and relying too much on external memories can all affect our attention and memory long term, thereby deterring daily performance and productivity. None of what is being said is to say that we should ditch our smartphones entirely. The fact remains that they are an integral part of our daily lives, as I mentioned at the start of this video. Instead, all we advocate is to learn to take advantage of smartphones' benefits while staying mindful of their potential impact on our overall cognitive function, as long as we remain aware and active in the tips mentioned earlier, maintaining a healthy distant relationship with your smartphones, you have the potential to thrive without having to sacrifice precious memory and attention. If you've enjoyed what you watched, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep delivering more content that helps you mine the gold in mind.